Hola! So I am going to be doing uh, what is triggering you when it comes to your love connection, okay? I'm going to use my Twin Flame Soulmate um, Triggers deck to see what comes through along with my Divine Feminine in the Feels deck, okay? So let's see what has you all rowdy and triggered and pressed. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. You act like a little bitch sometimes. So that, that's one thing that has you like uh, rolling your eyes, frustrated, and just like whatever. Because you feel like your person's just acting like a little bitch lately, right? Some of you are like, not sometimes, all the time, Fire Witch. <laughs> yeah, probably. Here says, I get jealous when I see you having fun without me. Ooh, it's like, where the fuck you at? Why aren't I with you? Damn it. So some of you guys could be seeing your person like postings of them going out, maybe with friends or by themselves, and they're just having a good old time. You can get a little jelly because either you see them in videos or photos with other women or whatever, and you're just like, that could be me right now, but you want to act stupid. <laughs> okay, so here it says, the thoughts of us suddenly together brings me sudden bliss. That's not going to be for everyone because the thought of you and that person sometimes could annoy the fuck out of you, but... For others that really wish to be with this person, you know, just having daydreams and thoughts about them, it brings you happiness. It brings you sudden bliss. Okay, so let's see here. You're like, what if? Uh, please don't make me feel stupid. So that's one thing I know my feminines hate feeling is when, you know, you spill your heart and soul to that person and they just don't reply or they reply with something very bland or short and you're just like that's it or they won't say nothing at all or say something stupid and it makes you feel embarrassed and stupid like oh my god i regret saying that or should i not have said that so you're just like maybe holding back or not saying anything at all anymore or regretting something that you have said so you're just like please don't make me feel stupid some of them have already made you feel like that could just be a, a conscious thing, you know? Here it says, what do they have that I don't? Ooh, so they could be with someone. Maybe they broke it off with you to be with somebody else or to stay with somebody else. And you could be in your feelings upset. Like, what does this person have that I don't? You know, they, it could be a karmic partner or just somebody that um, they keep going back to. Oh my goodness, this just like flew all over. And these are the three. Here it says, I stress myself out. <laughs> How do you? How many of you guys be sitting there stressing yourselves the fuck out? You'll sit there and have certain thoughts or replay situations in your mind that haven't even happened, and you're getting mad and upset or crying about something that hasn't already happened or you know has not yet or will ever happen, and you'll get in your feels about it. <laughs> so it's like, calm down. I know you tend to do this. Try not to stress yourself out. Okay. And then here it says, knowing that you're living with someone else really gets to me. Okay. So this is for those that know they are moved in or have been living with someone. Um, and just the thought of you like talking to them or you guys maybe are and just knowing the fact that they're sleeping with someone else or just having a life with someone else that could really fucking make you feel like poo poo you know here it says i need to let go of these fearful stories i keep telling myself that could be linked up to the i stress myself out you know the fearful stories that you're constantly telling yourself that are not true for some, you know, the maybe there are downloads or predictions that you feel or fear will happen and they never do and they end up going in a different direction. For some of you guys that are very intuitive, you get these downloads, you stress yourself out because you just fucking know. Um, so just know the difference, okay? Know the difference. Let's get a few more. I asked Archangel Michael to hold me back from fucking it all up. See, this is for those that just can't keep it and hold it together. You're like stressed out about something, um, fed up, and you're like, I'm about to say something that might destroy this whole connection, might make myself look karmic or whatever, and you're like praying to your deities or archangels, whatever. You're like, I need y'all to hold me back from fucking this up. <laughs> hold me back, spirit. Hold me back. I heard a tarot reading that triggered me about you. So this happens often. <laughs> 
<laughs> because it certain readings that resonate can get to you and it has you thinking getting you in your head especially when you watch multiple readings back to back to back to back it'll confuse you trigger you make me make you feel calm one minute and make you feel triggered the next minute so it's like <laughs> damn girl Okay, here it says I catch myself in deep thought about you and it stresses me out. Mm -hmm. That happen that happens very often, you know. Like, what am I gonna do about this situation? I can't stand him, but I can't let him go. I love him. Motherfucker. Come here and love me. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed. A lot of you guys could be feeling overwhelmed, you know, with everything that's happening, or maybe it's just not happening at all, and that could make you feel like uh, why why isn't this working out and it f could frustrate you because maybe it w it turned out to be you know something way different than what you thought and you didn't want it to be that way so mm. okay let's put this aside and let's get into the divine feminine in the fields deck all right let's give this a good shuffle it's hot in here huh I'm going to turn my air on because I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay. Pause for some air, right? Pause for some air. So, what has you in your feels? What you've been doing while you're in your feels as well. Okay. What do we have here? I can sometimes smell your scent out of nowhere and it makes me feel as if you were right next to me. That alone is enough to get me in my feelings. Ah, I know I've heard so many of you guys say that like, oh, it's just, you know, busy minding my own business or you're grocery shopping or, you know, doing whatever it is that you do and you get a whiff of that person's cologne and you're like, where the fuck did that come from? Sometimes you look around and it's nobody's near you and you get a scent you know a whiff of their scent and you're like what the fuck that's that's a sign that's random and it makes you feel like are they astral projecting uh, or is it a demon playing with my mind i don't know <laughs> just kidding <laughs> can make you feel crazy here it says i'm ready to separate from my current partner so for those feminines that are currently with or involved with somebody else whether you're about to divorce or separate or you're finally like you know what i'm gonna leave this person for you or just leave them in general because you know somebody else is waiting for you or you're letting them know you know what i'm done i'm ready to separate and see where you know what spirit has in plan in store for me if i meet someone i meet someone if i don't i don't i'm hoping it's you but if it ain't then it ain't okay here it says no matter what i do i can't stop thinking about you even uh when i don't want to you're always on my damn mind Woo! girl i know that could happen to you guys a lot too because you know when you try so hard especially when you're in deep thought about them and they stress you out and you're like i'm trying so hard not to think about you and then they still pop up and you're like oh frustrated and irritated yeah i know my hand is like black here because i've been painting mind the nails it's a sign of hard work don't judge me okay oh two of them came out there's something about your energy that makes me feel so alive and confident, especially when uh, when you smile. OK, so maybe this person gives you good energy. OK, it could be different from, you know, some of you guys dealing with a different type of situation. But here there's always that one person that gives you energy, makes you smile, gives you the confidence to keep pushing through. And because of that, you can't help but always think of them and have positive thoughts about them. Okay, so sometimes you'll be in your feels in a way where you're like, damn, I can't wait for this to happen again. Or I want this dose again. You know, I need a little pick me up of your love. You know, you know. Here it says, no one could ever compare to you ever. You are the most treasuring soul my heart ever loved. And you know what's crazy? At the time, at the moment when you're in this energy, that's how you feel. And then as you outgrow the situation, you are going to find someone that will compare to them and be like maybe better or perhaps, you know, equal, equal to them. But, you know in a different way if you know what i mean so don't ever be like oh my god i'm never gonna find anybody like this person the truth is you might not ever 
but you could you are going to find love again and it is it's not going to be where you're never going to feel what you felt because it's the love and the energy that you put into it okay so it might even be stronger than before because you're growing and evolving so here it says i'm pretending not to give a shit and i've noticed this a lot i just saw 1010 on the screen i noticed this a lot in feminines especially the ones that comment so negatively consistently and i'm like so then why are you watching if you don't care about that person makes no sense right so here it's like a lot of you guys when you're hurt or not getting what you want from the connection you're impatient you're frustrated you're not having it you'll pretend not to really give a fuck at all because you're not getting what you want or it's just not working out so some of you guys will pretend not to give a fuck because it's fucking with your pride and your ego oh shit all that i guess we'll take these and then wrap it all right it says i'm sorry if you think i expected so much from you because of my high standards i just know what i want so maybe this person thought that you were just too much you expected too much but you just knew what you wanted you gotta ask yourself um are you being realistic with yourself i just saw 11 11 on the screen too being realistic with yourself or you are wanting what you think you want because it sounds good instead of following your heart okay so then here it says i'm going through some family issues and i'm stressed please understand that it's not always about you so you could have flipped out on them you could have stressed out you know had stressful moments personal in your personal life and it could have pushed your person away you could have pushed them away and you're letting them know look i'm going through some personal shit i'm stressed please understand that it's not always going to be about you and so maybe they broke it off or thought that it was just best to remove themselves from your energy and you're like oh shit but they just you know you want to let them know understand me you know and apparently if they're giving you your space they're giving you your space because that's what you asked for so therefore quit fucking nagging <laughs> Here it says, now that I'm in love with you, I find it so much harder to approach you. And this is interesting because, you know, sometimes when you don't, you don't really like have a crush on someone, it's so easy to be like, what up? And approach them, talk shit to them, whatever. And then when you start to catch feelings for this person, you're suddenly like, hey, afraid to, you know, have a conversation with them or open up or you don't know how to act anymore or whatever. So. Some of you could some of you guys could be feeling that especially if they you guys were good friends you started off as good friends and then you started to develop feelings deeper feelings and now it's like so much harder to act around them communicate etc so that is what's coming through if any of this uh resonated with you comment down below if you guys want to book a personal reading um you guys can email me and we will set that up set that up or inbox whatever all right